Hi guys, welcome to another Divi video. We're going to continue building this one page scrolling site. We built our slider hero section last time. We're going to move on to the about section today. Now as we go through, we're going to build services, team, projects, testimonial slider, portfolio section, and a contact form with a live Google map. So let's continue on. Here we are with the slider we built last time. Let's enable the visual builder and we'll build the about section. Once loaded, let's go down where we want to work. I'm going to hit this little purple button. It's usually a blue button for a section. It's purple because we've used a full width section for the top one there. I'm going to add a regular section underneath. In that section, I'm going to start off with a title introducing our section. So I'm going to use a single column. Inside there, I'm going to use a simple text module. And let's just say about or about us, whatever it is you want to say for yours. I'm going to make that into a title. So I'm going to select it, making a heading two. And let's go and put a bit of styling on it now. I'm going to hit the little paintbrush icon to go straight to the H2 edit. There it is right there. Let's move this up so we can see what's going on here. As with Divi, you've got a huge amount of fonts to choose from. To audition one, just roll over it with your mouse. It'll give you an example of that font. I'm going to leave mine on the default today. Okay, well I've been using sort of blues and purples on this site, so I'm going to get make my heading blue. I'm going to make it perhaps semi-bold. And I think I'll capitalize it and make it a bit bigger. I also want it to be in the middle, so I'm going to line it in the middle right there. Let's bring it up to say 50 pixels. You can type in a value, just put in the 50, it'll put in the pixels for you. Or you can slide up, you can also increment up now with the little arrows. Just to make that stand out a bit more, I'm going to put a bit of text shadow on there. Great. Well, I'm fairly happy with that. Now, because we might be using this title on several different pages, I'm going to save it to my library. To do that, let's just save it. This way we can reuse it. Click on the module. Little round icon between the two squares and the trash can there. We can save it to our library. So let's call it perhaps one page title. And hit save. Great. Well, I'm going to leave my section white like it is. I like my second section to be nice and bright like that. If you wanted to put an image or a color or a mixture of them in this section, just go into the section tab, blue tab for a section, little cog. Inside, you can add a color, a gradient, an image, a video, background pattern or background mask. And you can combine colors, gradients and images to get some great effects there. But as I say, I'm leaving mine simple and white like that. Great. Well, let's move on. Down below, I want to have two little sections. I'm going to keep this as simple and easy as possible. So I'm going to add a new row, a little green button to add a row. I'm going to have sort of 50-50, two columns. In this first one, I'm going to have an image, either of the business or somebody in the business. Just click on the image to add one. I'm going to use the same image as I used before there. Obviously, if you don't have your image installed already, just simply drag it over to here, let it go, drop it, and upload it. And if we roll down a bit now, there's that image for us. Great. Down below the image, if you want to link it to somewhere, you can put your link in here. Always best practice if you're linking to the same site Leave it in the same window. If you're linking to somebody else's site, perhaps her Facebook page or something like that, open it in a new tab. That way your site's going to stay open. If you want to pop that out into a light box, you've got the option to do that here. Just switch that button to on. And what that does when they click on it, it'll pop out into a larger version of the image. I don't want a light box. I'll just put a hashtag in the place of a link there. Perhaps it goes to her bio or something like that. Great, well that's all I'm going to do to that side. And our next side, this side over here, I'm perhaps going to have my logo and then some information 
about either this person or my business here. So let's add a new module. I'm going to use the Divi Blur module for mine today. That lets us add an image at the top, a title and some content underneath. OK, well, I'm not going to use a title. I'm actually going to pop my logo at the top there, I think. And for the content, I'm going to get some dummy text. Obviously, you'd have some real text about your site. I'm going to use some Lorem Ipsum here, which is dummy text that our designers use. And let's take a few of these gaps away. Great. And for the image, if we roll down a little bit more, I'm going to use my logo. I've already got that uploaded because we used it in our slider before. Again, hit image and icon. If you choose to use an icon, you can do so here. Just switch that on if you'd rather use an icon and an image. Divi's just teamed up with Font Awesome 4, so there's a huge amount of icons to choose from here. A lot to scroll from, or you can do a search for something particular like a computer. Or if you do want to browse through them, the easiest way is they've got a little pop-out button here. If I click on that, it pops out into a larger version, makes it easier for you to scroll through, but there's a lot of scrolling there. Okay, but like I say, I'm using an image for mine today. So I'm gonna flip that back to off, go to my library here, and let's pop my little logo in there. And there it is, that works for me. Again, if you wanna link this module to somewhere, you can link the title one place. We're not actually using a title. Well, the whole module down below there, same best practices apply. I'm not gonna have any background on this. Design-wise, as usual, you can make the image larger or smaller if you want to here. I'll take it down just a little bit. And of course, you can align it left, center, or right. I'm gonna leave mine in the center there. Don't want any rounded corners or borders. Moving on down, you've got your text, which will do all the text at once. If you have a title, it'll do all of it. You can turn it dark or light in color, put it in the middle, wherever you want. Better turn that back because light doesn't work very well on a white background. Give it text shadow if you want to. I don't usually use text shadow on small text like that unless it's on a button or something because it tends to make it a little blurry looking for me. And again, if you want to go straight to the thing that you want to edit, you can hit the little pink brush that's beside it there. For instance, we can go to our text here, change the font, font color, style, everything like that. So I'm fairly happy with that for our little about section. Very simple, very easy to do. I'm trying to keep these videos as simple as possible. Obviously, you can go to town and add whatever you need to add to that. So let's save our changes and make sure it's gonna work. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the Visual Builder. There we go, and there's our slider. If we roll down, we've got our little About section with the image. It's got our link to perhaps her bio or something in there. We've got our little logo and some information about our site. And that's a nice little simple About section there. And we'll be hooking all these sections up with a menu when we finish building them. So there you go, guys. There's how to build a simple about section for our one page scrolling site. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. In our next video, we'll create a little services section with some nice little blurb modules and icons to show off the services we have. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please drop them below and I'll do my best to answer them or make you a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.